see if we can get this run done. I'm trying to think about what I want to play afterwards. Pop all these. While we're here, let's up, let's uh, repair the weapon. Yep. Do come back alive. Oh, let's see here. Plenty of fire bombs. This is for when I uh, inevitably get toxic or plagued, whatever it's called. I always get them mixed up. Bunch of stuff I forgot to do. Let me go do that real quick. I knew I forgot to do something. I gotta drop a bunch of stuff at the box. And then I need to equip my spell. Totally forgot to do it. Dr. Thank you, What else did I need? Get rid of the heal spell. I don't really need it. The eye. Umbasa. Clogs up my bar. Okay, now we can get ready. What else did I need? Seems like I got everything. Oh wait, I can unequip the... Those. There we go. Oh, that works. Okay. I wasn't expecting it to work.
Come over here. Over here. I don't want to fight you on a narrow ledge. Take advantage of my small girlish ankles. Hey, free morning star. I don't see you drop that often. Ah, that works. Oh, it locks onto the enemy behind him. I just want you. I don't want the other guy. Side roll. That's the kind of luck we need for this run. Side rolls. Oh, hey. Look at this. Um... Oh, I only had one of those left. I guess that'll work. Oh, wait. I have a buff. I'm silly. All right, buff. You can't slide right here. Yeah, there's the, the broken head boxes that I was talking about earlier. Oh, somebody actually fell off a ledge. I didn't even see where they were. So uh, there's a room. There's a mechanic to the boss room that wasn't overtly understood until very recently. So whenever, whenever one of those depraved fellows falls off a ledge in the area above, doesn't even have to be falling. They don't even have to fall into the area down here because they can't technically. But all they have to do is fall off a ledge. Their corpses and an item will spawn in the boss room and it can do that for up to 10 unique items so you gotta kill 10 unique enemies and you get 10 items and they're not really that useful for the most part like the most useful item here is a chunk of faint stone but uh if you need faint stone that's a it's a pretty guaranteed drop you just gotta kill 10 dudes to get to it Actually, no, 10 dudes gets you the a great club. But I don't think anybody in their right mind should use a great club. Can't buff it, can't upgrade it. Strength scaling, but that's about it. Pretty good strength scaling. I have those equipped already? I have one, two. Okay, I'm gonna need to buy some more of those. There's a lot of items I can get out here that I don't really need, but I guess I'll pick them up. Actually, I don't need to pick up these two items. One's a Sucker Stone and the other one is a War Scythe. S-O-C-K-S? What's up? I guess I'll get the broken sword just for posterity's sake. There we go. Let's avoid the red phantom. Get the cat ring, though. I guess I'll get it. I don't really have anywhere I need to use it. 
At least I don't think I do. No, those are just sucker stone. I don't need to pick those up. Get the black turpentine. You see me doing this, it's because you gain a little bit of stamina back when you switch to two hand and one hand back and forth like that. Really, really useful if you want to run a little bit longer in the muck. Dark Souls sorta has a bit of it left, just not as nowhere near as prevalent. That's another thief's ring right here I don't need. You can get like three of those in one playthrough. It's crazy. I let myself run out of stamina. Oh, ran the wrong way a little. this because I've got three of them left got two of these left so I gotta be stingy with them oh shit one of them actually got away not good all right it's fine all right we're not gonna run through the city the city's dangerous a lot of bad guys so we're just gonna run around the city instead Oh, dang, one shot. Lucky me. Plus, we're coming down here because I can get some dark moon grass. You find a couple of droppings of it over here. Playing Sekiro? Yeah, I, I definitely am. I was very excited about hearing about it. Oh. What do I need? I guess I'll switch out to full moon grass. Anything funny, Colossus. First hit. Get these, I guess, why not? I should have let the cutscene play. This is my favorite boss. Leave us, slayer of demons. 
This is a sanctuary for the lost and the wretched. There is nothing here for you. Uh, got to something in my eye. Wonder. Somebody Please cutting onions here? Leave quietly. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut garl off, garl vinegar, uh, garlic vinegar off. That's just rude of me. That's pretty good damage. need you back up here. I don't want you anywhere near the swamp. Really oh, give me your gear. Thanks. I can't wear the armor, but I can use a shield. The shield's pretty good. No plague resist. You... You killed him, didn't you? My character's freaking out from the plague. Very well. I Been can plagued. no longer resist you. Do as you like. Take your precious demon soul. She offed herself. Rip. Pepe hands. Now all we have left is uh, oh, False King Alant. Oh, and then ac actual Alant. Forgot about that part. Nobody, I, I don't count him as a, a boss really. He's kind of just there. Dang man, I got through that area in less than 30 minutes. I think I'm doing pretty good in terms of speed. I think what I'll do is I'll I'm gonna have to like copy the videos and then just splice them together. Make sure the weapon's up. Good. Um, do I want to buy another soul remain? Nah, not really. I only need one for the area, the beginning area. I use soul remains very sparingly in this run. I use one for one three, one through one four, one through two. No, I don't use any in two. Yeah, I do use them very sparingly. That's usual. That's useful. I don't want to be very cheesy with the way that I go through areas, but some areas are just not worth the effort, so I usually use a soul remain there. Or a bow if I can if I can afford to use a bow. Oh, I forgot to set my stuff up. Hey monkey. Hmm, people think. Hopefully this gets their attention. It did. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Thought he can get away. I don't even need what you have, but I'm taking it. Hey, come out of here. Crap. Is he backing off the heel? No, he, he tricked me though. He got me good. Usually they back off like that to heal. But they didn't. 
He was just debating me. I think... What else? So I usually equip panic heals for it in the event that blue drake does something funny. Because, I, like I said, I'm not very good at blue drake's section. There he is. Freaking iframed it. I forgot that those guys have iframes during their back steps. Or their uh, backflip. Hey, Eek. How goes it? You, you're just in time for the very near the end of the run. Now, if I can just get the timing right for this, I'll be fine. I'm gonna let him kill this fat boy up here. Better be no death. It better be, because I don't want to go... It's like a three-hour run. Or you want your money back? I feel you. All right. That's exactly what I wanted. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Mighty fine, mighty fine. He's running too, because that was... That freaked him out. That He's surprised I even lived. Alright. Crystal Gecko? Giku! I, I call it... Uh, they're actually just lizards, but I'm going to assume they're called geckos. Something. There is a faster way to do it. I didn't do it the fast way, so... There we go. He's still bathing the, the stairs up there. So there we go. We made it. Now all we gotta do is get past Phantom Red Boy Strava. Ha <laughs> ha! Too slow, kid. All right, fellas. Uh, if you'd be so kind as to take me to the top floor. Two guys on that side, two guys, and two guys. I feel very sorry for these fellows. Having to take my stupid ass all the way to the top of the tower. So how's chat? You know, Ek, I'm, Ek, I'm actually going to probably play Donkey Kong after this run. Watching you play it made me want to kind of play it. But that was, what, like a month ago? Something like that? I was thinking to myself, I need to play more games than Demon Souls. Danky, which Danky? Probably first one. Then eventually I'll play two, and then eventually three. I only have a Japanese copy of three, though, so... It may be a little bit different. Oh, I don't need to watch this. I've seen it before. Everybody's seen this cutscene before. Do something silly, please. There's the city. The SFC version? I don't know what version that is. I got the Japanese version. That was like 10 bucks as opposed to like 30. Oh, Famicom. Oh, that is the one you were, you were talking about. Okay. I don't know why I said it. I didn't understand that. I, sorry about that. I have a Fam Super Famicom or what's left of one. Oh, okay. Let's heal. No, let's not do the Soul Drain. You don't lose the level. You lose a level, but he gains the souls, so you'll get them back. Also, he takes extra damage when he's doing that attack for some reason. It's really useful.
But yeah, what I was saying is when he soul sucks you and he steals one of your levels, you just get the souls back from that level when you uh, when he's defeated. So it's not so punishing. You'll get the souls back. Even after you've died to him once and you come back and fight him again. One time he actually soul sucked me when he was in the middle of death. Kind of funny to watch. I should start trying to like do an all item for all collectible items run. Maybe that'll make the run a little bit longer. There are a couple of items that are kind of scary to get because if you mess up the drop, you just die. I think that was the first kind of run that I was trying to do with this game. Whatever your choice, you are our first visitor. May you be welcome here. This is Stockpile Thomas' voice actor, by the way. So Stockpile Thomas was actually the bad guy the entire time. Surely you have seen for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world. The fight poisoned with poisons. God is merciful. So created the old one. The old one is no fear in our souls. But an end to our tragic failed existence. say old man well that's the Uchi Katana run what I'll need to do is uh, go online real quick to confirm the run okay anybody in chat do we save or do we kill her Shall we save waifu or kill waifu? Whoops. Hit my remote. The Nexus shall imprison thee no longer. Kill. We got one kill. She wants the power for herself. That might be true. So we only got one kill. So I guess it's a unit. It's all, it's all good. Dead. Whoops. I could have actually just like punched her and it would have counted. Like just a single hit is all it takes to kill, to knock her down. And not only that, you can't just like hit her and wait for her to get back up. You hit her, it triggers the cutscene. You can't just like walk away after knocking her out. The old ones the peasants need me to lead them. I suppose so. Side. Bell will do a, a good job. And before long, the world will be engulfed by the deep fog. My hair has been cut off at the top. It's Bring like a bowl cut. More souls. Bring more souls. Wait a minute. So wait, are we saying that the narrator here is the old one? That could be it. That could be what the entire plot twist is. The narrator is actually the old one. Also, I don't get to see this one very much. The endings are different depending on the uh, whether you kill or spare her. You get a very dark ending when you kill her. It looks kind of creepy. Nice music too. Though you don't get any singing. <laughs> 